Hey there, there guys and way. gals, if it's F1 backwards here, back with another Walking Dead, the final season, all missable achievements and all collectibles guide for episode two. And straight away then, in act two, you can skip straight past act one, go straight to act two, turn around from where you start, just outside the greenhouse, and there is a boar skull on the ground right there. Wild boar. Not too many in these parts, but they were more common where I grew up. I used to hunt them with my old man when I was little. They make terrible noises when they die. I like it. It'll look good on my wall. So this is important then. If you choose to climb the ladder, you will actually miss the botanist achievement. So what you need to do first then, before you go up, just go ahead and inspect the foggy window right here because that is part of it, which I think a lot of people ended up missing. So once you are inside and you get rid of a couple of the walkers then, directly behind Ruby there is a mushroom, so go ahead and pick that up for the second collectible out of three, and then press A again to eat the mushroom and that will give you the edible achievement. What? This was for science. So again, before leaving this room, make sure to interact with absolutely everything you can in this room. And if you want to make it easy for yourself, if you press and hold the left trigger button, uh, you see all the little white interaction buttons will pop up so you know where to go. But again, you just follow this guide because I show you absolutely everything on how to get the botanist achievement anyway. But again, before you leave, make sure you look at everything that I do. Or use it to dig a grave. You weren't there when we dug the holes for Marlin and Brody. We had to use cups and bowls. It took forever. Dibs. So now we are into the next room. Now, again, it's exactly the same thing, but you've got to interact with everything before picking up the igniters and the propane. If you pick up those two, that continues the story and you would have missed the achievement. So again, just keep doing exactly what I do. There's a big chalkboard and these test tubes and just keep following the video and you shall get it. But again, you don't need to talk to Ruby or Mitch, so you won't miss the achievements. Don't worry about talking to them. Find anything? I actually I don't know what this is. So still in the same room then, get this fleen, uh, Fleenus? Fleenus Vi trap, <laughs> Venus fly trap here. That's your third out of three collectibles. So this one was a lot easier than the first episode. That will be your last one, achievement unlocked. And now then we are into act three and this is the great girl achievement. And basically we will be petting Rosie again. Now in all three episodes, there is a choice we'll have to pet Rosie. So as long as you've got the first two achievements, you'll be able to unlock the achievement for petting her in the third episode. So again, just go ahead right here by the graves, 
choose the dialogue Petter. What are you doing down there, Rosie? <sighs> Good girl. What did Marlon used to do? <laughs> and immediately from there then turn right around and we'll need to interact with everything possible in the yard i think there's around 10 items to interact with there might be a little bit less sorry i should have counted my bad my bad but anyway again just follow the video follow exactly what i do and if you're stuck if again just keep your finger on the left trigger button and that will pop up all the little white interaction buttons here Well, no one's coming over those. Place looks ready for a war. Pretty clear message. Still wouldn't want to pledge to that. Hopefully this at least creeps the raiders out. Ms. Martin? Thanks for protecting everyone. I hope it's beautiful where you are, Brody. So directly from where you got the last achievement, wherever you got it from, head towards the sort of bottom of the yard. You'll see Lewis. He will be doing some bow and arrow. Bow and arrow. Ah, oh, I can't even get my words out today. Bow and arrow practice. Uh, what you'll need to do to get the achievement is hit the target three times without missing again. Again, this is a little bit easier. You do have to take into consideration a bit of bow drop. So. You know, just aim a little bit higher, but not too much. But again, you'll see anyway, this shouldn't pose too much of a problem at all. But like I said, if it does, just immediately quit out, restart it, and you should be good to go. And just so you know, I'm totally laughing out loud when you miss. me to never piss you off while I'm standing at a moderate distance with a big red circle painted on my chest. You want to come back and practice more? Just let me know. Okay? Sounds good.
So at this point of the game, then, we will have to choose either Violet or Lewis. For reasons only I'm able to tell you, I went with Violet. It's nothing to do with trying to be a lesbian in a video game. I love equality. I'm all up for that. So don't think I'm a perv, right? <laughs> anyway, moving on. I just chose Violet anyway. You can choose either or. It literally makes no difference. But when you get to this point here, then go ahead and back up your save. Just wait, I, I promise you, wait until the loading screen. Because if you do it before the loading screen, you'll have to go through the entire card game again. And that was a pain in the ass for me. So anyway, go ahead, back up your save right here. And first achievement we're getting then is called Bonded. For choosing the dialogue, you're a great friend. Now I think the dialogue options don't really make too much of a difference. Up until you get to this point, so... It, yeah, it doesn't make too much of a difference. Just try and stick with friendly options if you can. But again, don't think it makes too much of a difference. This is where it makes a difference. If you say you are a great friend, this is where you will unlock the bonded achievement. And as soon as that unlocks, then you can go back, reload the other save, your backup save, and then we'll be going for the romantic option. God, how many times did I say difference then? I think I counted at least five. I don't think it's official until we do. Ugh, I hate arts and crafts. So now going ahead, reload the previous save, your copy, your backup, and you'll have to go through that entire bit of dialogue again, unfortunately, and doing the whole Milky Way Dipper things, just to get to this point again, but once, but like I said, as soon as you get to this point, choose the dialogue, I have feelings for you, and then this is where you, the achievement will unlock, you've got an option to kiss her or say anything, but you know. Being a lesbian advocate and that, I chose to kiss. And I want. Mm. Holy shit. That's romantic. I mean, holy shit. Totally romantic, bruh. Shit sticks. Probably time for your lookout shift. Ready? Yeah. So this now is at the very end of the chapter. Now, a lot of people sort of thought you had to hit every single walker with headshots, but you can miss a load. I think all you've got to do is hit the majority of walkers with headshots. So, as you can see, I hit him in the shoulder twice, nearly kept missing him. So, there's a lot of times you can miss, but I think as long as the majority is with headshots, then it shouldn't be too much of a problem. If one gets too close, either press B to stun them. Or, again, just, just walk away, just run away, you should be fine. There's two waves of zombies, and like I said, the majority of headshots, that will get you this achievement. And again, as you can see, I'm pretty awful with my aiming at this point, so the best thing to do is just not panic if you miss one, or, or miss three. Just take your time, calm down, smash them in the head, job done. So there's episode 2 done then guys and gals, thank you so much for watching, hope all of these have helped, as I try to do it in chronological order so you, again you didn't miss a thing, there's your achievement, again thanks so much for watching, thanks for everyone who's supporting the channel so far, I'll see you in the next one.